as I kind of <laughs> dictate or narrate what's going on, the area has been marked with what seems to be a marker. <laughs> <laughs> super, you know, technical level. Let's talk about something while this is happening because I'm getting super excited about this. Oh, should we do another question? Sorry. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it and then we'll keep talking. Uh, and Gary, is your name? What data are you going to put on it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. What's the data that this gentleman's going to put on the chip? This gentleman, as he will <laughs> explain to you later on, uh, will be putting the opening credentials for his house on it. Um, in a bit, he'll be able to put payment information on it, and he'll even be able to put some type of Bitcoin wallet and some other cool stuff like this. And if one day he gets a car that has one of these keyless entry fobs, maybe he can put that on there as well. Okay, this seems like it's going to happen right now. <laughs> Moment of silence, everyone. <laughs> Okay, so can you see it? Find that angle. Oh, no. <laughs> They're not gonna so, freak out. Oh, there we go. It's magnified, guys. It's, it's not that big. Okay, still so, so the syringe is about the size of two times the needle that they used to. Oh, wow. Oh, it's happening. Okay. and then we'll, we'll pan back to Edgar to see how he's doing. But um, <laughs> the size of the needle that was used was about two times the size of a needle that's used to take blood out, so about that. The chip is the size of maybe a grain of sand or two, and it's covered in a material that's biocompatible so our body doesn't degrade it over time, and it doesn't create any harmful interactions. There it is! Woo! <laughs> All right. Can I get this mic over here? That was amazing. Thank you so much, Desiree. Edgar? Yeah. yeah? Why did you do this? <laughs> <laughs> now that it's done and you can't go back, why did you do this? I did it basically for two, two main things. First, because it's super, for me, very useful because I have a domotic house. I can open the door at the same time that like, this is the key of my, my house. It will be the key of my house. And secondly, because I can withdraw it very easily, <laughs> simply <laughs> making a little cut and pressing it. Yeah. Bring out. Woo! <laughs> Thank you for doing this for us. So, now, this is the interesting part of the day. We're gonna do, you know like in these cooking shows where they're cooking something and they're preparing everything and then it magically goes into the oven and literally 20 seconds after it comes all baked and perfect? This is what's happening right now. We're gonna do a quick switcheroo, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's because when you put the chip into somebody's hand, the tissue around it becomes inflamed for about 48 to 72 hours or something like this, so it can't be programmed on the spot. However, we already prepared this for you like a cooking show, so we already injected it in somebody, and we already programmed it with the necessary payment information. Pao, can you please come up onto the stage? Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Here's the cake. So, right now, this is what's going to happen. We've programmed the chip that's inside Pao's hands to have all his necessary payment information 
In this case, his Bank Sabadei account. Bank Sabadei have created a point of sale kind of system just because simply we don't have the, the normal point of sale thing that they have outside. So it's a virtual point of sale system. And what's going to happen is that Edgar is needing money from Pau. So he's going to say, hey man, you owe me 15 euros. So he's going to put his phone next to Pau's hands and he's going to take that money, direct deposit into his bank account. <laughs> So, this is the app right now. We're going to do it a couple times just so you can see it. Done. <laughs> just so you think that it's not something weird happening. Wow, do you think that we can see the light? The LED? So, this is the extra special part of all of this is that there is an LED light inside of this chip. And it doesn't have a battery or anything like this. The energy feeds off of the actual frequencies that are being sent from the cell phone. <laughs> Can you see the light? <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. So that light <laughs> is underneath his skin right now. Wow. Okay, so an applause for everyone. Can we see the transaction being made? Okay, so if we zoom in, there we can see the transaction being authorized from Pau's wallet, which was on his hands, to Edgar's account. And this is not a Bitcoin wallet, this is actual money being transferred through Bank Sabadei account right now. So to talk about this, can we please get Ana Pujoriola on stage? Thank you, Ana is... She is the director, the director of financial services for Bank Sabadei. She's helped us do this entire thing, in part, the mastermind of this entire weird process, but awesome at the same time. Anna, what do you think of this? What's the future? Okay. We have been seeing now is what the future of payments could be. Uh, now, in payments, we, we are seeing a trend, which is the integration of the credit card in elements different from the card. Through tokenization, we can convert the credit card number into a token and we can record or associate this token to any element, to a mobile wallet, to an implanted chip, to facial recognition, license plate, or whatever. Thank you so much, Anna, and thank you for all of this. Any last remarks? What do you think? Where should we go from here? I think we, it's wonderful that um, you come to do this and do the backside. <laughs> um, but as we were all talking today about, we know that, and particularly with banks, there's a lot of personal data here that's been used, and we need to have the debate about personal data protection, which the banks are very good at, but which needs to go into all the companies um, who are starting up to use chips who are using personal data. And I think the second thing is, let's look eight to 10 years from now and consider a space where we can use chips in our bodies to, to move augmented reality around ourselves, to actually use it within the workplace, through gestures, through our hands, through our whole bodies, without having to wear the, the, the wearables of today, the glasses of today. And maybe that's longer than eight years away, but it's a very good place to look at because then we are using our natural bodies and we're putting our human beingness at the center of technology. Thank you so much for that. Before we close, as the ending closing remark, I just want to synthesize what happens here today, just so you realize how crazy this was. We came on stage, we took a knowing victim, we implanted a grain of rice sized microchip with communication capabilities into somebody's hands. We got Bank Sabadei to create a token for a credit card and account, put it in there, and now that person is able to make mobile payments with their hands and whatever else lies in the future. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. This is the end of the live biohacking implant show. Thanks a lot. Thank <laughs> you.